Damn it! Damn it! I froze. That makes me so mad. We're having a great conversation, and then I froze. So we'll see if anybody comes back. Hello! Somebody come back? I don't know. I froze, and I'm not liking it. It made me mad. Okay. Hi! My scope froze. Periscope said... Periscope said, Eh! You're out of here! You talk too much and are boring or something. I don't know what they said to me. And they kicked me out. I was having a great conversation about stuff, too. I'm just telling you. Well, I just gave myself a heart. Did you see that? Alright. What am I going to say? That makes me angry. Makes me angry. Hi, welcome. I'm just working on this little... Illustration portrait thing here. This is where I'm going with it. Hi V, thanks for coming back. I was having such a good conversation. No, she's up on point. And she's very tall and she's up on her point of her feet. So, we were talking about, um, hi Joel, thanks for sharing, Joelle, we were talking about, um, immigration, so that was boring, nothing to do with art, <laughs> but I do, I do, I do get, like, involved in that because that way I really would, I really want, um, my son to be happy, so I hope that happens, well, no, who knows. All right. So, her skin is looking pretty good so far. Hey, news. Thanks for coming back, you guys. I couldn't believe it. I was like, well, you see it in the title. Yeah, if it's meant to be. Well, they've already been dating for like, what, it's been four years? Four? Over four years. And she's been here three, four times. She's been here four times. He's been there once, and he's going back again in October. So, they go back and forth about every six to eight months or so when they get money to fly over there. Right, I know. But she just turned 21, like, eight months ago, so I'm giving her a bit of a break. My, my son's 25, I'm just like, ugh. I just hate, like, she, I, I think it's on my mind because she just left, you know, and so we had the whole, my son doesn't cry, but, you know, I was crying and she was crying, and I'm like, well, why are you so sad to go back? Then don't go. <laughs> right? Oh, did you see what I, what, guess what's next? Guess what is next? Let me show you my reference. Oh, where is it? Open desktop. Look at I can't believe. Do you see this? This is on my net. This is on my list. That's my next dancer. Ho ho ho! This is my next dancer, girl. That's my next dancer. Yep, this one's next in line. That's right. Um, this is her name's Amira. She's in a, um, what is that? Uh, the, me and the designer's name is Bella, but her name's Amira. I guess she's a famous dancer. Because I was looking her up. I was like, ooh, pretty costume. So that's my next one after this. I'll be verging into some different, um, dance. I have some Latin dancers, too. So I just draw whatever I think I th find pretty. If I like it and I'm like, ooh, that's a pretty costume, then 
I take it to paint it. <laughs> but that's coming up. So you just happened to say the Bollywood, and I was like, oh, perfect. Yeah, I was like, oh, I could do the Bollywood. I've been dying to. I've been looking for some great costumes. All right. She has like a light on the side and a light on the top. Oh, yeah, there we go. Do do do. Maybe we'll have a quick little getaway. I'll have you come and do some wedding henna. And we'll just have fun with it. And then I'll just tell everybody later, yeah, well, we just had a backyard. We just had like a little shindig and they got married. <laughs> Whatever she wants. You know, if she wants a bit, I told her, she does it. Like steampunk stuff. She's into like some of that stuff. I said, if you want everybody... In your wedding, you know, everybody to show up in the wedding dressed in some cosplay outfit, I will make it happen. So you let me know what your dream is, and um, we'll, f we'll figure it out. <laughs> Not saying I would be in a belly dancer dress, but I would find something appropriate to wear if that's what she wanted to do. I wouldn't want to, you know blind everybody with me in a belly dance outfit. <laughs> I have a belly for it, though. <laughs> Alright. Shade some skin. Alright, so just some basic colors to get my highlights and the lights, and then I will add all the details for her muscles. Um, belly is really hard. They have a lot of muscles. Yeah, that's true. I saw some belly dancer practicing the other day. Does it was amazing. She, like, lined up a string of quarters across her belly, and then she rolled her stomach so the coins, like, rolled up and down her stomach. I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. Like, you're, you have to, your, your core has to be, your core strength has to be top notch for that belly dancing stuff. Insane! I should start belly dancing, maybe I'll get some abs. Ow. My problem is that I'm old now, so as soon as something starts hurting, I stop doing it. Because, like, I have a treadmill, and I was on my treadmill running. I was ru I was up to doing, like, 30 minutes a day. You know, I went, like, a couple miles or something. and But I was just so miserable because my body was just like, what the freak are you doing to me? And I could hardly walk. It hurt so bad. So then I just said, oh, I, I got to start walking. And so I started walking. <laughs> but then it gets too hot. And so I'll walk again once it cools down. But, you know, I mean, I don't need to, like, have a, a heat stroke in my garage. So I'm old enough where I've come to the realization that I'm never going to be like I was when I was 20. Move on. Enjoy the time we have. Alright. So I'm developing some a little bit of highlights here to um, show off some of these muscles that she has.
I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but it will make sense in a minute. Did this freeze again, or are you guys still there? I don't even know. Oh, it's moving. I'm like so paranoid. I'm so paranoid about it freezing now. I'm telling you. Okay, thank you. I have to say, Arcade, thank you for all your um, support. I don't know how to pronounce your real name, and I probably would butcher it. Is it... It looks like it's just Jur. I don't know if that's how you say your name. I'm so embarrassed that, like, I don't know other languages. Like, people who live around the world know English. But I'm such an American. I don't. <laughs> okay. Did I say your name right? Phonically spell it for me. No, I did not. How do you say it? <laughs> I, I feel weird calling you. Never mind. All right, because I feel weird calling you Arcade all the time. And I see your real name on my Facebook, and I'm like, okay, well, I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. So if you don't mind Arcade, I guess it's all right, but I just, you know, I feel weird, like, calling you Arcade. Okay. Well, then I'll call you Arcade so it's a secret. <laughs> you can you can private message me and tell me how, or, or you can like send me a send me a uh, a recording or something of how the heck you say it. And where are you at? You don't have to tell here either. Okay. All right. I'm developing some, um, the Netherlands. That's right. I know you told me once before. It looks so nice there. I'm just saying, the Netherlands look like everybody is, like, happy over in the Netherlands. Desi, have you ever been over there? Um... There's a, over in, um, uh, I don't know where exactly, but I, I watch a piano guy called Guys, and he's amazing, and he lives over there somewhere. Alright. So, I need to get a little bit of a knuckle here. Make it smaller. Hands are the hardest, and I really hate them, you guys. They give me all sorts of fits, these hands. Ugh. And so usually I don't let you guys see me do them, because I really only like to show the stuff I know how to do. So this is a big secret, my hand. Me frustrated with the shape of my hands. There's a real behind the scenes thing. And the dancer's hands are so like elegant, you kind of have to. Not make them look like they're crazy hands. Can't. Oh. Yeah, I can't even see these fingers I'm, like, picking at. So I'm trying to make this look like a pinky right here. Pinky finger. With this finger, like, sticking up. And then these two fingers are in the background. And, of course, your stupid thumb. Okay. 
Alright. And the only way to do that is with shadows. And then a highlight. So, highlight this. Alright, this might be alright. <laughs> and, and then when I go back and I see how small it is, I'm like, does that really matter? Is anybody going to see her fingers? Probably not. But, if they don't look right, it'll probably look off. Yeah, it does matter to me. Little bit of a highlight here, and I should be good. Then I'm done with her skin, and I'll be all happy because the fun part is the dress. I do have a little bit of her legs, but this is a longer dress, so. Um, She has like little creases here. So the, the legs are not that big of a deal. Alright, let's see. She has arms. She has arms now. She's starting to come to life. That's my favorite part. When I can start seeing them, like, pop out of the background. It's my favorite part. Alright. I have to see. I might... I think her legs are going to be on a whole nother level. Simply so I can... See, I'm talking to myself now. I'm trying to judge how see-through her legs are. It's not super see-through. You can kind of see a little bit. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'm debating how much to have done tomorrow. Look at me. Because hmm, I'm, I'm just trying to prep this so I could work on it tomorrow. So... That skirt's going to be probably three layers. One, two. The skirt's going to be three or four layers because of the colors. So see how there's a... No, oh, focus. There's like a couple different greens. And then the, the little bit of the white for the tooling on top. So each one of these colors will be a different layer. And I'll control the opacity to make it sort of see-through to give the tooling effect. She has this, this will be sparkly, this Julie crown thing. I have her hair. Hmm. Alright, she's not wearing tights. I mean, I'm going to do her legs on the same level here. Because they're a different part, it'll be fine. Because her legs aren't going to be opaque. They're going to just, I just, alright. 
See how I talk to myself? I do this when you guys aren't here, too, just so you know. Like, I will talk like this to myself when I'm just drawing by myself. It's probably why Picasso cut off his ear. We're all a little, we're all a little nuts. <laughs> just say it. Oh yeah, it was Van Gogh. Picasso drew crazy stuff. You're right. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking Van Gogh, and then I don't know why I said Picasso, because I had a Picasso painting just a little bit ago that I was looking at. Jeez. You know they say the first thing to go. It's pretty much true. Pretty much true, you guys. Brain has too much stuff in it, and the next thing you know, you're like, Okay. Okay. Make this bigger. So those legs are not going to take that long. So I'm messily blended up. Yeah. Yep. I love all those. Like, I'm not too much into the Impressionist paintings. Um, not big. But I do, I do like like the old time, I call them old time, <laughs> renaissance on kind of stuff, I'm going to say. But I love going to the museum. Nobody ever wants to take me though because they get bored. Isn't that terrible? I wish I had somebody in my house who like understood art like me, but, so what I need to do is get, like, my husband to take me and drop me off at the museum on his way to work or something, like, before work one day, even though it's a little bit out of his way, and I just spend the whole day there, and then he'd come pick me up on the way home. <laughs> it's pretty much, because I like to read everything, and I'll go Take my the little uh, headset tour. And sit there and draw some stuff. So I could spend a whole day at the art museum. That's not a lie. So every time everybody goes with me, that was get bored. And then I get frustrated because I never get to spend enough time just like looking at a painting that I would want to really kind of look at. All right. But here in Michigan, the museum is, um, did you? Yeah, the museum here in Detroit is kind of downtownish. Yeah, well, it's by the, it's by a college campus, so it's not super bad, but it's not like the best, and I don't know if. I have so, a little bit of, like, um, issues with going places that I'm not familiar with on my own anyway. So I don't think I would be able to take my... I mean, it would be a feat to take myself there. Plus, I usually don't have a, a car. So. But once the weather is not so great and we're not boating, we have plans to go to Toledo Museum with some friends of ours, and uh, they have some cool stuff there. I've never been there. And I've been to the Cleveland Museum like 20 million times. So I used to live there. It's my favorite place to go. I've been to the museum here in Detroit twice. I usually get to go for my anniversary or my birthday. <laughs> So, yeah, my husband's willing to indulge me on those days, like, be super bored and not, he's not into musicals or theater, none of that, so I don't know how we got married, how did we end up married? <laughs> it's kind of funny, but we, we, we we're, we're perfect, like, we're great together, so I don't know how it happened, but it did. Alright. 
but yeah, I'm like, oh, musicals and theater. And I used to do set designs, and he's like, what the heck? <laughs> ah. So I just watch my YouTube. Hmm. Yeah, I love them. I just like the music and, uh... The, the whole glam of it all. Those people can sing. Sometimes they're the best singers. And then he has a fit when some of, like, the pop stars have been doing musicals now. He's like, oh, really? Really? Alright. So her shoes will go over this. <laughs> it's gone too far. I think, you know what I think that irritates me is, like, there's, like, no original ideas anymore. That's what, that's what's, like, irritating me. Uh, yeah, Tarzan. Well, I can see Tarzan the musical being done, like, um, being done on, like, Disney cruise ship or something, you know, for, like, that purpose, that kind of audience. But, yeah, I agree with that. But it's like there's no uh, original thoughts. It's like, okay, we're going to remake this, or we're going to take somebody's music and turn it into a story. And sometimes it works, most of the time it doesn't. But, that's why I like YouTube. If I see it, I'll watch them sometimes on YouTube. And sometimes, you know, you run into, like, a really good production of it. And other times, in five minutes, I'm not watching it because it's so bad. And I have not lost any money. But I have been to some, let's see, what have I paid to see? I have gone to a lot. When I was in Cleveland, I used to go with my sisters a lot. So I saw Phantom. I love Phantom of the Opera. I've seen In the Heights. Love that. I've seen Wicked. Um, Lion King. Um, what else are we going to see? Jesus Christ Superstar. Most of this is going to be covered by um, tooling, so I'm not too worried about it. I guess it reminds me, though, when I was younger, my sister used to do, like, kid theater and stuff like that, and then my mother used to always volunteer me to do set design. <laughs> Alright, there's a leg for you. Thighs! Alright. This leg was drawn very... Look at my sketch. Look at that leg in my sketch. It's terrible. Look at that. <laughs> I just kind of like threw it up there. I'm like, meh, there's a leg. So I'm going to be like working with like figuring that one out. It's like I did one leg and said, I don't know. I have to put something there. That is terrible. That's a terrible leg. That's just absolutely awful. Look at how dark she looks when it's not... That's crazy. I just noticed that. Like, her skin looks so... So dark. But then when you put the background on it... She looks so light. That's crazy. No wonder when I was doing it before, I was like, that is way too light when I... But... Wow. Like, yeah, like, she looks really, really dark. And then... Now she looks really light. That's, um, that goes to show you that the right background can help out your backgrounds aren't, shouldn't just be ignored. You have to get the right background for what you're doing. So, like, I wanted a little bit. I love how this picture is black and, like, the green really pops. 
but I didn't want to kill my printer. So I'm hoping that this background will let my um, my bright greens come out. We'll see. But I'm pretty much done with this right now. So I'm going to save it. Let's save it. Because I'm going to use this one. I will be working on this one at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. In the art block. And then I have a cat. I want to go check the cat. So I'm on early, so I have to have all my stuff prepared tonight. So I can just like bring it up and go for it. So I'm on at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock tomorrow. It is, what time is it here? It's 5 here. It's 5 o'clock here. So, I go on at 9 o'clock in the morning and then 10 o'clock in the morning. Alright. So, it's a five hour. And so then this is what I'm going to work on at 9. I'll work on this one at 9 o'clock. So I might, tonight, I might just do the body, like just um, color patch it, no detail, just the base color, like watercolor, the body background. So then this guy's ready to work on some more details tomorrow. But I worked on him last week, but he's still very rough. Mostly do the eyes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm proving I could do some cats. I don't like cats as much as I like dogs. But. There's some people who love their cats. So equal opportunity here. Alright. Well, arcade. You're the only one here. So I am going to go and feed my dogs. And I have to do fold some towels and load the dishwasher. All that fun stuff I really don't want to do. I'd rather just stay here and draw all day. Can't we just like myself in my office and I'll just do stuff all day. But I posted some stuff online. And I'll be posting probably maybe something else later. Oh, and here comes ukulele. I was just getting ready to leave, ukuleles. So you can scan through the replay. Thanks for coming. Okay, we have to try. I know. Please, please, please watch the replay, and if you like it, follow me. I'd love to have you come back next time. Um, tomorrow, I'll be on tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time, at 9 and at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, part of some art stuff all day tomorrow. So, this I will be working on at 9, and I have a dancer that I'm working on at 10. And I'd love to have you, so if you're free or check the replays out, that's great. But it's 5 o'clock here, my husband's getting out of work, and I didn't do anything all day except go to the post office and um, draw. So, I need to, like, really quick do some stuff so it looks like I did sort of something. <laughs> that's terrible, right? <laughs> all right, my philosophy is I can draw all day while he's gone, and then when he's playing on the computer when he comes home, I have all night to do all that stuff. But he just doesn't seem to agree with me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, do something. Yeah, do something. I literally have piles of clothes that are, like, I washed the clothes, but I haven't, like, folded the clothes yet. So I have a pile of towels, and I have a pile of clothes that need to be folded and hung up. I have... Dishes in the sink that need to go into the dishwasher. I emptied the dishwasher. I just didn't refill it. <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> I take little breaks and I do something small and then I come back. But my bed has art stuff all over it. I have art books and sketchbooks and paints and it's it's a disaster. So I'm going to go and take care of some business. Um, it is Friday, so you never know. I might be back later if um, if something is busy and I have time to get on here. But for sure tomorrow morning, everybody. And if you do not already follow me, feel free. Look me up. Send me a message. Tell me what you like. I'd love to hear from you guys. Follow me, follow me, follow me. And you'll see all the end results. Thanks for spending some time with me, you guys. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Because I know there's a hundred other things you could do besides sitting here spending some time with me. So when you choose to watch me, I really, really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you have a great day, night, morning, whatever you're at. Okay. I hope so. See you later.